Hi, and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name is Nick, and today, guys, we're jumping down into the world of Multiverse X, taking a look at the most recent price action of the eGold token and where I think things are heading next. As I get into today's video, if you do find it useful and informative, smash that like button. I do appreciate that. If you are new to the channel, then why not go ahead and subscribe? And if you haven't yet joined us in Discord, you're missing a trick, check it out. Link is in the description down below. It's a fantastic community talking crypto 24-7. It's completely free, and I don't think you'll be disappointed by what you find down there. So why not go ahead and check it out? Let's jump things uh, or kick things off, I should say, with our one hour time frame. So here we have eGold um, paired up with USDT on the one hour chart. And obviously Binance is our data source. Now, as you can see, we have been moving down. Uh, our most recent bear market low is down here. Uh, this happened so I can get that snapped in on place. Let's see, there we go. Uh, on the 11th of September, 2023 at 22.25. We're coming down quite aggressively here and chances are we're still gonna come down more uh, into new bear market low points for Multiverse X. So if we take a look at our three wave structure that's forming here, and it does at the moment look like a three wave pattern. We're not impulsive or anything like that uh, here at this particular moment in time. We can see a $21.10 to $20.04 as a possible scenario uh, for Multiverse X. So I'm going to draw a little box in here. This is going to be the range that we're kind of expecting. Now, if we zoom in, uh, we can see that there's been a little bit of a rally here over the last few hours or so, um, slightly pushing up, but for the most part, uh, still very much within its bearish structure. Now, the concerns that we have would be that we are finding ourselves a zigzag pattern. So here we can see a uh, five wave move coming to the downside here with an extension in the fifth. One, two, three, four, and an extension in the fifth. We then see a, another really big impulsion here uh, coming down. So I'll show you what that looks like uh, with our wave three over this side and currently finding ourselves in the wave four. Got to come down into the fifth wave move. So uh, this will basically be a zigzag unless, of course, it moves higher than 1.618, which we'll check in a second. Uh, so here, this is all fine for our uh, wave three not a problem. I mean, we could argue that this is a wave three and then we've had the fifth wave. I just don't think that really is a good structure. I think, in fact, we're probably uh, still looking to move on down a little bit further based on momentum indicator as well as wave count structure. Um, and so, yeah, for the most part, that's kind of where we sit. Now, if we were to take that first five wave pattern over here, okay, and we were to move this over to our bounce, which is this side, you'd see that 1.618 would be all the way down in this low range down here at $21.10 uh, to $10 uh, to $20 and four cents, right? But it, it's very unlikely that this five wave pattern here is going to hit that number directly. And therefore, it's going to prevent us from having an impulsive structure uh, to that same degree. So instead, what you end up with is a zigzag pattern. And the zigzag pattern is uh, an A, B and C structure like so. We'll probably bounce after this point. Uh, we'll move up a little ways. I'll just use WXY to symbolize that. And then we'll probably move down in another zigzag pattern to actually get us into our target range down here. Okay. This whole entire thing essentially will then be W, X, and Y, like so. Okay, so that's kind of where I think things are heading on the smaller time frame. there. It's going to be a little bit of volatility and all that kind of usual stuff, but there's nothing more to it than that. We've still got some better prices for Multiverse X, in my opinion. Uh, take this out into the daily. You can see the fantastic progression that we had to the upside. Uh, we had the all-time high up here at $544.25. Uh, we were in um, Multiverse X or Elrond back then, uh, way back. Uh, I think we got in it around the $10 level, um, kind of like, oh yeah, October, no, December, pretty about December 2020, somewhere in this range. Uh, this is where we were buying into it. So we had some fantastic runs to the upside. The tokenomics are still good. I've not got any problems with that. The pivot in their kind of direction is a little bit frustrating. It can be very frustrating when people rebrand and stuff like that. Um, but I still think we're going to see some performance here for Elrond's eGold. Um, we are obviously, of course, still just, you know, naturally pulling back down. Uh, we are obviously coming down deeper than we would want. Uh, I, in an ideal world, we would have really wanted the June 2022 low to be there. But uh, unfortunately, we've come down into those low target ranges that I was talking about back in 2022. Um, so yeah, for the most part, we are bearish. Uh, this is not unusual. This is something that we kind of have seen for a while here. We have the change of character into bearish uh, structure that happened back in May of 2022. We have the break of structure, more break of structures basically confirming that we are in fact still bearish here on 
uh, eGold and Multiverse X. So for the most part, our structure on our daily time frame is still bearish. We are still looking for further moves to the downside. To me, this would be WXY, X, and Z. And I think we're getting close to the bottom for, for this one. I just don't think we're there yet. Uh, let's see if I can get this to snap on. There we go. Um, we would be... Yeah, approximately looking at anywhere really. And this is going to be quite painful for many, but uh, yeah, we're in the Z wave lows now, but we could potentially go down as low as 979. Not something that we would kind of want to see, but you know, I mean, depends if you're looking to accumulate great value and all that kind of stuff. But for the most part, that's kind of where we're looking for this one where we're in the Z wave uh, low. We could have the theoretical low of 979. I don't think it's going to go that low, but it's a possibility nonetheless. Um, so just bear that in mind on the weekly time frame here. Um, you can see that really the areas of my interest were between twenty and fifty, uh, twenty dollars fifty three cent and twenty nine dollars eighty cent, and we're right inside that little sweet spot just here. Upper resistance sits at fifty five forty, and we are bearish below the fifty SMA, fifty EMA. Obviously, there's no two hundred weekly EMA, um, but we are below the two hundred daily EMA. So for the most part, we're looking pretty uh, pretty bearish here. We actually kind of finished um, a little bit short here on the bull market high at the. 0.618. So I do think that there's still potential for a significant run to the upside on Multiverse X, providing you know that everything goes in their favor and all that kind of good stuff. So from a technical analysis point of view, we've still got further to the downside to go. Um, and yeah, I think we'll be interesting to kind of see how this one plays out. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm thinking Elrond's e Gold will perform well in the next bullish market, provided it survives the bear market and so forth. So I'm going to leave the video there. Let me know what your thoughts are on Multiverse X down in the comments below. If you have found this useful and informative, smash the like button. If you're new, subscribe. And if you haven't joined us on Discord, what are you waiting for? Check it out. Link is in the description down below. Until the next one, though, guys, have a fantastic day.